This is an OG. I've I haven't played Alpha this. Is flying Hold around on. The forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Those are scratch marks. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. I bet you he dies if it's anything like the original. It's been a long time, but I, if I remember correctly, he dies first. Spoiler alert. It doesn't matter because you're going to see it anyway in about two seconds. Yep. Oh no. Yo, that was crazy. Yeah, this literally gave birth to the genre. Real OG survival horror game we're playing here, guys. There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. <laughs> Chris? Take care. Yeah. That could have been anything. Okay. Now for a proper intro. Welcome back to my channel. I want to ask you to subscribe and like to help the channel and this new series grow. And I don't know how long this is going to last, but if you guys like it, I'll keep bringing it back each and every week. Now, if you're new to the channel, my horror games, I usually play Friday nights. Not every night, but if you guys want it every night, then I'll do it. There's an ink ribbon here. Wow, real old school. You use ink ribbons to save. Okay. Let's get back into it, shall we? I'm gonna play as Chris. Why does he have a night? See, that's what I don't get. Yeah, we're gonna save it right here. Pass the intro. Okay. 
Okay. Go back. It takes forever to go back when you're saving. That's retarded. So why do I have a knife? But he had a gun running in here. Did y'all notice that? That I don't get. You mastered the game. Why don't you remaster that? What's this? Got an ammo. We're probably gonna need that. Okay, you'll be surprised what you'll find on stuff that look uh, unusual. Uh, All right. Okay, that's the turnaround. Man, it's been a while since playing this. Uh oh, I think this is the iconic moment that scared the nation when it was first when this game was first released. Was it? It's, it was back here. I think it's back this way. Nope, he's not there. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, it's just as terrifying as it always was. Back up. Hut. Hut. Hit. Hi. Get off me. Get off! That is retarded. Get off of me! <laughs> you can say that again when it comes to zombies. Alright. This knife is gonna get annoying. And this blotched running. Better report back to Wesker, that's true. To what just happened. Can we, hold on. Can we go anywhere else before we report back? I think that's the thing we got. Hey, people call what I'm trying to. That armor is probably a, a, a something else. All right, let's go back and report to Wesker real quick. <laughs> Yo, that was just as terrifying as... Oh, man. Back in the day. When two have run through the path to your destiny will open. I got a feeling that's going to have to do with a puzzle later on down the road. That's the annoying part of survival horror games to me, are the puzzles. Sometimes the puzzles can be overly difficult. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, some people who are absolutely crazy will beat the game with a knife. I can't do that. Equip. Right now, we need to, you know what? I, I better go back and save it. I can save it. So they have come up here. There's something up there. We have to get it somehow. Yeah, see, look at something up there.
Oh, this whole mansion is creepy. Take the dagger. Yeah. Oh. Defensive. Your defensive item mode. I can't remember if you could do that in the original. I don't think you could. I keep pressing start. I wish start was the, the uh... Is this equipped? No, no, no. What's the other one? Oh, I don't have it. It must be incendi incendiary. Incendiary grenades. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh shoot. How about that, stupid? Of course it's locked. What's with these emblems? What is the... Hold on, let me see which one I have. Examine. Let me zoom in. It's a... I don't know what that is. I can't tell what that is. I think that's a shield. I don't know how to get that. But oh well. We just got to come back. You know when you get to the part where you cannot get past that part because you're missing some item that you just can't for life if you figure out where it is. That's probably going to be that item. But we cannot get that. I cannot get up on there and get it. Oh well. Ah, but what, where do we go from here, though? We go upstairs? Let's try upstairs, man. It's been so long. So, this playthrough is blind. Despite, you know, playing the original. And I did play the... Um, what's the... The, the GameCube version? They had remastered the GameCube, but it was brief. I can't even remember how I beat it. Because that was 2001, 2002, guys. So, this is like playing it all over again. And Resident Evil 4, that was 2004. I haven't played it since then because I didn't, couldn't really get into Resident Evil 5 and 6. I like the straight up horror aspect more than the whole action. They turned RE, Resident Evil, into just like more of an action game. Not necessarily saying it's bad, it's just... Doesn't have that same, you know, creepy, horrific feel to it like this one has. What's this? Shotgun shells. I don't need that right now. We may come across a shotgun, so I'll take it. Better to need it than not... I'm sorry. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Try to remember that in horror games. Especially horror games. Picture of an angel. Um... We don't have no arrowhead, so we have to turn around. All right, so let's go back, and that's locked from the other side. There's something gleaming. It looks like it's an ink ribbon, though. We have to use different angles get zombies in this because you can't it's not like free I want to say free running but you don't have that same open freedom uh, that they do nowadays in these old games and I kind of got to get used to that again you know you know running blocky like this you don't have that same sense of freedom which you know if I get bored of this game it's easy to kind of say screw it this, that's not a sword we have. That's a shield, I think. Let me use it. Oh. Emblem of armor. Do we have... It's a shield. 
Oh my God. The amount of times I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I'm in caution. I need some herbs. That's another reason why I didn't want to pick up them shotgun shells. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Oh, oh, we can go here. Oh, no, we left out the hidden door. Let's see what's behind these double doors. A zombie's up here. I can hear him walking. God. What we got left? Six. Might as well equip the, the knife. I can't. Yeah, we can't even reach. We can't even reach that. Oh, wait a minute. I'll tell you what we can do. Do this. Get that jewel out of there. Okay, there's two doors up here. We can go into one. Emblem of a sword, man. I don't have none of those. Let's go back down there and get that jewel. We may need that for something. I wish I could run faster than this. Also, I'm going to save it as well. Definitely want to save it. I'll be a save whore in horror games, man. I am. I'll admit it. That's nothing worse than dying and you forget to save. And you have to start all the way back. Not necessarily at the beginning, but you know, shoot. You ever do something, you, get, you save it and then do something for. Uh, and get so caught up in the game and forget to save it and then you die at a boss fight and have to start like a few chapters back that is so retarded and this is old school where they didn't really rely much off of auto save All right, my, my stuff is full so I can't get anything else I'm gonna have to This emblem goes somewhere. Got the blue gemstone. Um, Kenneth. Okay, that's probably his his GoPro cam. <laughs> Well, no GoPros out back then. But you get my drift, though. Similar how the police have a dash cam. The soldiers had that little camera on their, their pocket t-shirt or whatever. Oh, most definitely. What's that? Can't carry any more items. All right. You know, I'm going to go back and sit this... Uh, I forgot how eerie the camera angles on this game, too. I'm going to go back and put that emblem back in the indentation. Because I don't need that right now. I hated how limited the, the 
your item slots were. Can't remember if you find a fanny pack or not. I remember some Resident Evil, you'll find like a fanny pack or something, and you'll get an extra like four blocks. I don't know if it's like that in this game. All right, we go pressing the wrong button again. Put that right back in there. I'll come back and get it when we need it. So glad you can at least do that. There are no chests in this game, I don't think. Those can come in the way later. Um, pick up uh, that clip. I shouldn't have picked up those shotgun shells. That's what I shouldn't have done. Tell you what I am going to do, though. I'm going to pick this up. And use it. Use it real quick. Oh, my. Probably shouldn't have picked this up, either. Ain't no telling where this goes. I forgot. I'm so see that's what I'm saying. I'm so used to playing uh these type of games that I mean the the newer type of games that I forget. You can't hoard items like that in these older games. Jesus Christ, wrong button. Just excuse me when I do that, please. Don't hold it against me. You can't hoard items uh back in the day. You couldn't like you can now and get excused for like uh I play Elder Scrolls. If you guys haven't checked that out, please go check it out. Matter of fact, I might leave an annotation in the upper right-hand corner. Um, you can hoard items, and when your invita inventory gets... I almost said invitation. Inventory gets full, you can destroy the item. I'm sitting here trying to play Resident Evil like that, and you can't do... Is that a reflection? That is. Turn your butt around. Come on down this hallway. Come on! Oh, there's the blood. That's the signal that he's dead. When you see the blood splot. Alright. Oh, there's the, uh, there's another clip. But I only got one slot. You know what? I could grab that and run back to the graveyard real quick and put it in there. I think I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. If not, then I just took up space and I can't get rid of it and I would have to restart the whole game over again before I could do the next episode or another video. And that's going to suck really, really bad. But let's run back to the graveyard real quick. Put this arrow in and come back so I can clear up the space. So now I know I, not to hoard items. I can't do that. Because I don't know when I'm going to need that. Like I said, it's been too long since I played this game. I don't know when I'm going to need that blue gem. And I don't know when I'm going to need those shotgun shells. I cannot remember when you pick up a shotgun. Oh, God. What side was it on? I forgot what side the graveyard was on. Was it? I think it was this side. I think so. Dumb behind this trap back there. I cannot remember. Yo, that's horrible. I can't remember the, the darn. 
what side it was on. I think it was down here. It was on one of these sides. Oh, you know what? I got the arrow on, so let me save it. Save whore. Oh, that's right. We only have a limited amount of ink ribbons. I can't. Hold on, we're going to save it. I mean, we're not going to save. I'm sorry. But we are going to save the ink ribbon. Oh, I just remembered where the graveyard was. I'm so busy flapping my gums, not paying attention. It's in that middle door. I better get together, because ain't nobody going to sit here and stick around and watch me run in circles. And I guess you say, well, just do a bit of chop editing. You're right. But do you really want to sit up there and watch a video with like 20 cuts in it? I don't think so. You're going to be asking me, Raven, what are you doing with your life? But so far, I'm enjoying the little nostalgia trip down memory lane. It's a bit slow paced. Like I said, when you get wrapped up in these recent titles, you kind of forget the kind of slow pace old school games used to have. All right. All right so we're going to use. Oh my god. Bloop. Let's go down here, see what's down here. It's a puzzle. I don't... I'll come back and get it if I need it. Uh... Oh, where the nose should be. I wonder... Do these jewels fit? You know what? Wait a minute. It says Book of Curas. We just might need this. Curses. I will do a few chops here and there to the video. That way you're going to watch me aimlessly wander. Unless you want to keep it 100 and real and that doesn't bother you, then fine. But other than that, it kind of gets kind of repetitive. Oh my god. We hear what's on the other side of the door. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about something you want to know what's on the other side of the door? We hear it. Well, let's check out these other doors. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to save it after doing that. And if we need the book of uh, curses, I'll pick it up. And if I pick it up and I end up bulking up, maxing out my inventory and I can't get rid of it, then I, I'll have a reload point. So let's go ahead and do that. This episode is going to be a bit long. Hopefully that's okay. I want to do something else besides the startling zombie that we ran into. Did I skip anything in here? I can't remember if there was storage chests in this game or not. I don't think there was. Um, I just want to kind of run into a little bit more action. Or maybe another cutscene. Other than just the, the intro and us running into our... And, uh, our friend getting his head chewed off. It doesn't let you connect. Well, of course not. Oh, we can go down here. Is everything locked? That's the drawback of Resident Evil. You gotta go, go around unlocking doors. <laughs> go around unlocking a bunch of doors, man. Come on. Alright. I think we're gonna go back and pick up that book. If I can't find anything new, we're gonna go back and pick up that book. I'm not gonna pick that up because that's gonna take up space. Watch after we do what we need to do. Watch him get up. I already know he's going to get up. That's how Resident Evil operates. He's dead now. You find a new weapon or a new piece of the game. You come back. He up and alive and moving. You just stay his tail down there. I ain't going to do it. I'm going to have to kill him again. Look at all them herbs. But my inventory is so low. unlocked we might need to, I got a feeling we're gonna need that emblem death is only the beginning death is the true essence of bliss Here's something here. A key. Find peace and death. Mansion key. Which I know we're gonna need. Oh, shoot! Oh, no! Oh! Man, it's not letting me... Look at... Wow, dude. 